reception you're getting there, do you like the fact that people here love you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel good. I feel good with that. I feel even better when I play at home, Stamford Bridge, and I feel that my, my stadium is with me. But I confess that I also like when I go away and I feel the stadium is against me. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. Um, I'm going to ask you a really tough question now. You ready? Let's try. <laughs> of all the clubs you've managed, which is your favourite? Well, um, you know, I, I, I have to be, to be honest and say that um, every club I go, I arrive, I, I wear the shirt, and um, not even to sleep, I take the shirt off. You do. Um, <laughs> but the only one that I wear the shirt twice was Chelsea, because it was the only club where I was. I left, and I come back. So I would say Chelsea, but I have also to confess that Inter was really special, and um, Porto was my beginning, and I can't forget that. And a giant like, like Real Madrid is also an honor to, to manage. There is only one club, though, that you've actually sung for. I don't, I don't mean to be unkind, but... <laughs> I don't mean to be unkind, but that singing is truly terrible. I know. I mean, I wanted to be able to say we can loan you to The Voice, but we can't. Um, you've had a very colourful relationship with the media in this country. Do you see that as part of the game? Do you actually enjoy it? Because you've got to give a lot of press conferences, don't you? How many in a week? Depends, but sometimes we play three matches and six means... Three means six press conferences. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at, at some of Jose's finest sort of performances in press conference. Do you know what those starting lineups will be tomorrow? Uh, Oscar is a yellow card, this one, this one, and the ref... Mm. <laughs> he was screaming so much in his Scottish, I didn't understand really. <laughs> I didn't understand, but the players were clapping, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> does, it, does it matter to you if players like you? Do they need to like you? I think they need to, to like to work with me. Um, I think they need to, to understand that I am the best manager they can work with. I think that is very, very important. Like me, don't like me, the person, the man, big friends, that, that's a supplement. But I think it's fundamental that, that the manager is somebody the players they look at and they know that he's good. And they need to be a tiny weeny bit scared? No. No, I don't think so. Sometimes. No. No. Um, how do you find um, other clubs and other managers? I mean, do you, would you send each other Christmas cards? Do you, do you sort of chat? Are you mates? Honestly? Or... Yeah. Um, three groups of managers with my Christmas cards and, and my, my secretary. Uh, one, I just sign. Another one, I sent a personalized um, message, and another one I don't send. I really love that. Yeah, honestly, to a big sum, the Christmas card is not, is not big enough, because I really enjoy to write a message to a good guy. <laughs> but some others... When you, when you think about the moments that you're happiest away from football, what are the things that make you smile, that just give you peace, that make you feel, you know, alive? In this moment? Hmm. Win a match. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think the Maasai warriors, the remote tribe in Kenya, would... Yes? yes. 
Let's have a look. Ah, only you say Jose Mourinho with your Chelsea. 